We have an exciting making challenge for today. But first, let's meet our contestants. Please introduce yourselves and tell us something you like to make. Hi, my name is Wiley, and I like to break things. And yeah. Cut! Hi there, I'm John. I am good at cooking food. Hi, I'm Nina, and I like to make a sandwich. And now for the making challenge. Each of you must make something with a single piece of folded paper. That's right, it's an origami challenge. You have one week to decide on what you'll make, to practice it, and to refine your technique. Next week you'll make your figure on camera. And we'll find out who passes the origami challenge. We'll be looking for creativity and craftsmanship. Any questions? We'll meet back here next week. Ready, Ready set, set, makers, go! How do you feel about the challenge? I kind of feel scared. I don't know. I've never made a comedy before. Uh, I think the hardest part will be actually doing it on camera. I'm thinking of like maybe a flamingo. What's your plan to do well in this challenge? Probably practice a lot. Practice a lot. Plus a view. What do you think the hardest part will be? Um, folding the paper right. I think the hardest part will be doing the show while I'm in front of the camera. I think I will do really good. Um, I think it's going to be a challenge. <laughs> Welcome back. It's been a week since we first introduced the contestants and now it's time for the origami challenge. <laughs> It was kind of a little bit hard to concentrate because I was a bit nervous. Focusing, focusing on the heart. Well, on the camera. The challenge was doing it in front of a camera. What I did to get ready was practicing making it a lot. I made a fortune teller. I made a kind of like a kite. I learned to make it by watching a YouTube video. Uh, a couple years ago, I read it in an origami book. How did you learn how to make it? I watched a video. The hard part was memorizing which folds to fold it. It went actually kind of pretty well, though. I'm done. Hi, my name is Mr. Carmen. I'm the art teacher here at Lake Bluff, and I have been asked to judge the origami challenge. It's a very uh, heavy weight on my shoulders, but I'm going to do the best I can. We've got three wonderful contestants uh, who've entered, and I'm going to talk about each one of them. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is, uh, looks, I think when I was a kid they called it a fortune teller. I think that's what it's called. Kind of a classic origami piece. Uh, Craftsmanship wise, it is really well done. I can see that all, all the folds look like they're all nice and crisp. Creativity wise, pretty good, but we've seen this before. This one, I don't think I have really a title for it. Kind of looks like a kite though, so we might just, I'm gonna call it a kite. Uh, again, craftsmanship, nice crisp corners. Uh, I think it, it's well done. Um, haven't necessarily seen this before, so something maybe a little bit more original, but again, the number of folds, probably not as much as what this was, but a little bit more original. So I'd say they're pretty close. And then we have the last contestant, which looks like it's done with a different type of paper. Uh, these look like they could have been found in the school copy room. This one I haven't seen, so I'm thinking that the person had to go a little bit over and above to maybe get this paper. Creativity-wise, it seems like it's uh, something I haven't seen before. I'm, uh, looks like there's several folds. I, I could see it has about as many folds as this one, maybe a few more. Uh, but again, really well done as far as craftsmanship. So, pretty close. I think they've all done a really nice job. Uh, but if I had to pick a winner... The winner is... Drum roll, please. The heart would win by just a, a little bit. Nina! Yeah! Good job! Yeah, good job! Let's begin. Let's begin. 
that's it for today's episode. Thanks to all the contestants. See y'all next time on Lake Bluff Big Stuff. Thank <laughs> you.